Hello everyone, so I'm not kidding, this bridge really has the word Batman in his name. And because of that I got curious and did some research and found out that the real Batman has nothing to do with it. So I'm sorry if you just like me thought that he had. <coughs> But then I kind of found the bridge interesting and beautiful, you know, suspended bridge are always interesting. So I decided that I'm going to try to imitate this beauty in the game. And at the end of the video I will tell you more details about this bridge, so stick around and let's go. So this bridge has around 400 meters and I think I will do a scale down to minimize that. And according to my calculations I will make that with a total length of 64 meters. Let's see if it works, I hope so. So after that I will just put some terrains here. Now I will just add some pillars just to resemble the foundation. Okay, after this I will put some anchors here. And the last thing is to put the anchors for the, the columns. And yeah, I think that's all. Let's start building it now. Okay, so I think we're going to start doing the road. So straight line, put it here to here and then fill that with road. So now I think maybe do this column. It will be a small one. So I think two meters, something like that seems good. And then here the same, connect this and then copy again like that. And now let's do this bottom part with steel and make sure that these nodes are at the same position. Okay, seems good. So I fix these connections and then let's keep going to this side. Let's just copy this and pass to the rest of the bridge. All right. Okay, so let's do the difficult part now, which is this column here, which will be like a little bit inclinated. So this column it has around 80 or 90 meters, but here I think I will do it like, I don't know, maybe 18. Yeah, I think 18 seems good. Let's do it like that. So let's just do one meter here and then let's just fill this with steel. So here to here, here again. Okay, now I have to fix this first. So let's delete this. All right, so <laughs> I did some change here. I fixed these connections, but before that I readjust this column because it was a little bit more inclinated than reality. So I readjust this and then fix all these connections. And yeah, now it looks good. The only thing left is the cable actually. But before we just have to put here three nodes so then we can connect the cables to them all right now seems good and then let's connect the cables. so here we're gonna have like three cables one two and three and then here we're gonna have also three cables i think that seems good so these three parts are the same distance more or less and this span here is a little bit more uh, bigger but not too much so yeah, I think that's it for the structure, but I'm really doubtful that this is going to work because this column seems to be very thin to hold all of this structure <laughs> and I don't know, seems to have a big span here, but let's see, let's see how it goes. So it broke. All right, maybe we can put up here reinforced roads, something like that. And maybe here the same thing. Okay, let's pray the button. So it takes more time to broke, but it broke still. <laughs> the problem I think is that we have a lot of weight here in the middle. And then here we're gonna have a lot of stresses up here. So maybe you can do like a, a trussy structure up here. So then it will grab this part and maybe it will prevent them to fall. I don't know if it's enough, but let's see. Something like that in here. Let's see. Maybe... Nope. Okay, so now it works because of this. All right. What we can do here? We have a lot of weight that comes to this column. Maybe something like this. So when the forces come to this node, it will di divide in two. Let's put it like that. And then here as well. So then we have like a muscle made out of steel bars now. <laughs> instead of only just simple straight uh, lines. Let's see if it works. Okay. So the weaker point is not here anymore, so it works. It's here, still. Okay, I think I will put these trusses here to all the structure. Let's go. And then maybe if we 
put like another layer here above this one just like that seems good maybe instead of having like three bars connecting with this node we can just do something like that and it will help decrease the weight i will change that through all the structure and let's see okay nope all right here mostly we are going to have like tension i think because this part of the bridge tends to go down because of this weight here in the middle. So maybe we can put like cables here because I think we're not going to have any compression. So cables are more stronger than wood and more lighter as well. So maybe it will help. Let's see now what we have. All right, now it broke here. <laughs> okay, but still it can sustain it. So not bad. Let's just improve this as we did down here. So. Okay, looks good now. Alright, so this time the bridge remains standstill without breaking any piece. Let's try and load this baby out with some vehicles and see if it can handle it. So I will start with the lighter one, maybe this van. Okay, 95. Alright, easy. More or less easy. <laughs> Not bad. Let's just go back and change this maybe to this truck here. Let's see now. All right, easy. So now we are going crazy mode <laughs> and just load these with the heaviest one. And let's see, we'll probably fall off. Yeah. All right. Let's just change this to metal like that. Let's see now. Maybe I can divide this in two and then divide this road in two as well and connect steel bars like that. Maybe it will help to divide these concentrated stresses here, but I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. But still falling off. Okay, maybe I will add another layer above this one, something like this. Let's see. Now if it can sustain... Come on. Alright, so I have been changing some normal roads to reinforce it here and then we have this problem this piece of steel that is broken maybe i will put just cable here because mostly we have we have tension so i think the cable will fix this all right and now we have this problem so all right i tried to reinforce this piece that was broken and let's see what happens now Okay, still broken, let's go back. Let's just add a little bit more reinforcement here. And then here, let's see. Now, if it can sustain. Okay, I th okay, now it's the bridge. I will put like a middle connection here and see if this is enough. If not, I can do like what I did here, but this is... <laughs> <laughs> a big mess so I'm trying to prevent using this solution up here fuck okay so I've been tweaking here the structure I added some reinforced road I changed some nodes here here as well and still broken <laughs> now it's having this problem I think I'll just change this to cable like I did here let's do that here as well and this tree the same Okay, let's see now. All right. All right. Finally, we did it. <laughs> so after many tries and readjustments, it works. <laughs> and I just want to tell you that I didn't put in the video all the changes that I made. Because if I did, this video would be way more longer than it is. So I decided to put the most important steps, I guess. <laughs> And now let me just give you a brief explanation how this bridge works. And basically we have these three cables here in the middle that sustain all of this middle part of the structure. And then the forces go through the cables, you know, like that, into the anchor point. And then we have this huge column here that probably has a huge foundation to make sure that doesn't go anywhere. And basically is all compression here. This is why you have a lot of stresses at this area, because all of this weight of the bridge goes to this node and goes like that into the foundation. I think this is the best I can do to explain you. <laughs> now, let me tell you some more details about this bridge. It was opened in 1968 
and at the time it was one of the first cable state bridge in the entire world, so very impressive. It is located in Tasmania, which is near the city of Melbourne, and crosses the Tama River. I think that's the way we should pronounce, I don't know, Tama River, let me know that. <laughs> and now regarding the name, so it was named after John Batman, which apparently was a known man in that region and was one of the responsible for the creation of Melbourne City. In case you want to know more, just google John Batman and you'll find it. But how cool would be if this bridge was named after the real Batman, right? And yeah, I hope this video earned your subscription and I catch you next time. Peace and love. Bye.